I think it started in practice like two days ago. I just came to practice with a different approach. Just locked in. We had to win this one. Uh, I mean, that's Mac play, though. We've been here before, so I just felt like we had to get over the hump. And, you know, last year we ran the table around this season. And that's what we're trying to do this year. I don't feel like it could have been anybody that scored. So we were just out there sharing the ball, and it just so happened us three is the one that scored. <laughs> well, it was – it was uh... – it was a tough win. I mean, uh, a hard, hard win. Um, you know, without Brandon, uh, you know, we only had one day really to prepare um, without him when we found out how sick he was. And so uh, we had to, that, that was the last key uh, in tonight's game was find a way. And, and um, because it wasn't going to be pretty, we knew it. Um, we were going to be a little out of sync uh, um, with rotations. And uh, that's what the guys did. You know, we our defense was outstanding. You know, the last probably five six minutes of the game, and um, um, you know, I think things really picked up. It wasn't necessarily my intention, but things really picked up after the technical foul, and uh, they got going. And uh, uh, you know, we it looked like even with the group that was out there, we were scrappy. Um, really played hard, got stops, got rebounds, got a good push on the fast break, and, and uh, caught back up and ultimately made the plays to win the game. Yeah, it's massive. You, you know, I mean, when Reggie's able to knock down threes um, and, and get into the flow of the game uh, as well, it's kind of feast or famine with him. You know, some of the shots he puts up, it's like, uh, you know, I mean, they're, they're not look good looking shots, and some of them go in. And when he's got it going, you, you know, you just got to keep feeding him. Um, and, and we had to understand that, uh, you know, and sometimes those shots are bad, but sometimes they're good. And, and uh, the thing that he did, I thought, really well in the second half was, you know, he rebounded the ball. And, um, you know, when he rebounded the eight rebounds, seven of them defensively, that's a one-man fast break. Um, so we talk to our guys all the time, if Reggie... Uh, or Thomas, but if Reggie pulls down the rebound, then we want to go ahead and fill the lanes and let him bring it up and push it. That's a big dude. When, when he gets playing downhill, um, that's a big guy. You know, and, and he's fast with the ball in his hands from one end of the floor to the other. And so that was, uh, it, and he was able to get to the rim and, and dish the ball as well. I, I, I thought he played really well. It was Mac basketball. You know, there's going to be a lot of, there's going to be a lot of this kind of basketball played. You know, when you got two good basketball teams playing against each other. It's a home game. You know, we knew what was at stake. You know, if we lose the game, you know, we fall two games back of Miami. Um, if we win the game, we pull into a tie with Miami. But then when you have the tiebreaker um, because of the sweep, uh, it, it, if there is a tie at the end of the year, you know, everybody's jockeying, going to be jockeying for position. Um, you know, these last now seven games, everybody's going to be jockeying for pos position. So to pull out a win like this when, when you're a man down and a big man down, uh, I don't mean size-wise, but the way he's been contributing. He had 37 minutes against Buffalo, I think, um, you know, and a guy that is not only the starting four but the backup five uh, as well, and it gives us a lot of flexibility. So to, to pick up a win without him against the team as good as Miami is really big for us. Yeah, you know, I, we don't win this game without Seth tonight. Uh, um, that is as well as he's moved. Uh, he felt good, you know, and, and um, we tried something with him the last two days. We, we didn't allow him a minute of practice the last two days. He, his foot has been bothering him the whole time. And so um, what he had been doing was he would not practice the day after a game, and then he would practice a little bit the day before the game, just get up some shots, and then go during the day, go through a shoot around, and then he would play, you know, and it was bothering him. Um, and so we said, all right, this last time, I said, you're, you're not going to practice day after the game. It's a two-day prep. Not going to practice the day after the game. You're not going to practice the day before the game. And then you're not going to go through shoot-around either. Um, you're just going to warm up and then give us whatever you got during the 40 minutes of basketball that we play. And tonight it worked. I, I'm not saying it's going to work every game. It's, it, I mean, it's a stress fracture. Those things aren't fun to deal with. But I, if you would have told me that the difference in the game, or one of the, in my mind, uh, one of the big differences in the game was going to be Seth's defense, uh, I never would have predicted that. Um, but 
they do so much with Ringo, uh, dr driving, coming off ball screens, and our guards work hard, you know, to get around them and, and to get around the screens. But Seth, uh, uh, another big guy, I mean, seven foot, long arms, and he sat down and he moved his feet well, and Ringo didn't have anywhere to pass the ball to. You know, we, we were really handsy with that. We created some turnovers uh, as well. And uh, you know, I, I thought that his defense was outstanding. Now, you know, because of the stops, because of the turnovers and all that, you saw a very excited Seth. You know, and I, I think what you saw was a kid that has gone through an incredibly frustrating season, um, really contribute in a win that we needed, and how happy he was to actually be out there contributing. I, I think that's the exuberance that you saw him. And it was, it, we needed it. You know, we really needed it because we, we just, uh, we were out of sync. Uh, you know, we had some blank faces out there. You know, in the first half, we were a little lost offensively. Um, you know, we had guys pressing, uh, some guys frustrated, you know, and, and it, then we kind of caught our defense helped us, Seth helped with that, and, um, and then we, we, we got the stops and that actually triggered our fast break. Seth had a big deal to do with that.